I accidentally made a controversial tier list. All right, look, <laughs> I, I can't believe that I'm saying this, but my dead by day like killers that I think are fun to face as survivor. Apparently my opinions are super controversial and a lot of Twitter did not like what I had to think about it. So I think it'd be really funny to talk about it. <laughs> I will just start off by saying like, I find that the killers where you switch up your play style and you sort of play around not only line of sight, but also distance. I find those are super fun and not ones that just force you to hold W. So I mean, taking advantage of windows and efficiently looping, but also in a different way. I, I will go over every single killer on this list and explain what I do and don't like about them. But I do want to explain sort of what I enjoy about Dead by Delight to basically, I guess, give the sense of understanding of you know this is what i like to do as survivor and my favorite things about each killer so i really like to learn new things and execute it in my next game so every time i'm trying to play against a killer that i really enjoy i'll always try something different and it doesn't always work but if it does work i'll be like wow that's actually pretty cool and i'm like i'm gonna use this in the next chase if i ever get this opportunity a great example is uh, if you've ever played against Billy, learning crouch tech, that's something that I really am interested in learning and getting better at. I'm certainly not amazing, but I've had a few opportunities to use it, and I don't face Billy very often, but I do think that's an engaging part of Billy's counterplay, and I'd really like to get better at it. So with that being said, I do want to go over every single killer, and the very first one is unknown. And the I love you tier, the I love you tier is for all of the killers that I am extremely happy to play against and almost none of the time I won't be having fun. There are like very few things you can do to make me annoyed playing against these killers because I find their powers pretty fun to counter. So obviously our little unknown man here, Brandon, absolutely loves to play against unknown. I'm very sure you can gather why because I know how to counter my own killer and vice versa. So I think it's pretty fun. And an interesting thing about playing unknown is that whenever I play against great survivors who know how to counter me as unknown, I can use what they did when I play against unknown. And I find that's pretty interesting and unique that I don't know. I'm sure other people feel this way about their their own mains, but like for me, I've never actually had this experience. So I love it. I love unknown full stop best killer in DVD like the design wise and fun wise for me. I love you. The unknown save DVD quote unquote. Let's just say that. And I would honestly like I could put unknown on his own tier above the others if I really felt like it. But I, I just feel that's a little unfair. A little unfair. So nonetheless, I love the unknown and I cannot overstate how much I love the unknown. Best DVD killer for me, in my opinion. So much fun to go against. The next one is very controversial and it's the Huntress. So why do I like going against the Huntress? For me, it's the looping aspect where you're constantly breaking line of sight. And I find nailing windows and being able to dodge a hatchet by crouching is like super satisfying. I also find the low aspect where if you're running around a loop, the low mind game where you have to play of, am I going to throw the pallet and get hit with an M2? Or am I going to run around the pallet and force the Huntress to respect it, you know? I think that's really funny. And the whole thing I like about it is that you constantly switch up what you're doing. So at first, you might keep running around the loop. And then later, the Huntress will think you're just going to keep doing it. So that time you go and you get a vacuum stun on her. And I just, I find those interactions very, very fun. The next one on my I love you tier is the nurse. And it's the exact same thing with Huntress. It's a, it's a lot of line of sight gameplay and I just find it very, very fun. I also find it's unique and a little bit like unknown. You have to run towards the nurse if you can play effectively. I think one of the funniest things you can do to a nurse is force her to blink into the basement. It sounds stupid, but I've done it and it's really, really funny. Now, obviously playing against an amazing nurse who shreds your whole team in five seconds and slugs them isn't fun, but I'm saying in general here. Okay, so 
for the most part, I really do enjoy playing against a nurse, and most of them, in my experience, don't do that. So, yes, I love nurse. I really do. And that's why I love 2v8, honestly, because so many people play nurse, and it was so fun, man. All right, the final killer on the I love you tier is Pinhead, right? So, you know, Pinhead, no one likes Pinhead. I disagree, though. Maybe it's because I'm a fixated enjoyer, but I've always loved Pinhead, and I think that dodging his chains is super fun, and I find the box gameplay is very fun. Now, yes, I am a solo queue player mostly. Dealing with the box can be super annoying in solo queue. I find, like, the whole technique of waiting for him to pick up and then activating the box and getting rid of it, I find that is pretty satisfying to do, too. So, yeah, I like Pinhead. He's pretty fun to go against. I also think that the reason I liked Pinhead so much is around Pinhead's release, I was playing DVD a lot. And like, this was like, it was like one of the most fun times of DVD, in my opinion, around his release. So I might have a little bit of a bias, but hey, you know, who doesn't? All right, next we have the very fun tier. And on this tier, the reason they're in very fun and not I love you is because they can sometimes be annoying in certain aspects. But for the most part, I am always having fun against these killers. Definitely not as much as the original four in I Love You tier. So at the top of Very Fun is Wesker. I love Wesker. There's a lot of very fun things you can do. And my favorite Weskers to go against are the ones that are always like trying to do the hug tech and all these funny stuff. It's very fun to go against. It's a little bit like playing against a curve Billy, but it's different. I think it's again, cause I'm a fixated enjoyer, but like there are scenarios where you can walk and like seriously confuse Wesker because a lot of Wesker players expect you to keep running. But because I have fixated, I can play a little differently and it actually kind of messes with them sometimes. So that's one thing I really like about Wesker. Just again, it's line of sight things line of sight uh 50 50 mind games very very fun and very engaging and i find dodging his m2 is super fun what i don't find fun is his slowdown but hey you know i don't think it's bad i like the changes they made to it so i like wesker a lot now i used to not like him as much so it's pretty good to see how much my opinion has changed next is doctor so yes the doctor of course Going against a good doctor can be a little annoying, but I find the uh, skill checks are pretty funny. I also think that his M2 is pretty fun to go against. You have to play a little less greedy, and by that I mean you kind of have to throw pallets all willy-nilly and early. And I think it's interesting because you have to throw them super early. I just, I really like that. I think it's fun. All right, next is the plague. What I like about the plague is there's this very funny thing you can do against the plague where you can crouch and you can dodge her puke. On paper, it sounds really stupid, but if you actually do it, it is so fun, and I'm, I just love doing it. And it's really, it is really satisfying when you can dodge her M2 by crouching. I also think it's pretty fun to try and stun her out of her corrupt purge, although very good plagues will not let you do this, but the whole gameplay of, you know, will I get the stun or will I not? I find it pretty engaging. So yes, I quite like the plague. Next is the dredge. There's definitely not as much as these other killers that I like about the dredge, but I do like the gameplay of locking lockers when you're ready. I think what makes dredge fun for me is that his remnant isn't really that bad. It's like a mini anti-loop ability, and I think it's pretty fun to- it's like, it's like a mind game. It's a 50-50 game, and I quite like it. That's all I can say. Next is demo. Maybe it's just because demo is so silly, but I just never get over playing against demo. It's a little bit like Doctor and where the urgency is what I like. For example, you have to play very, very quick and react fast. Like playing Shaq can be super dangerous, but I think it's just so, so fun sometimes. Those scenarios where you buy an inch or a single second and make it to a window. I just think that's so fun. And I like that about demo. All right, next is Trickster. Right, so just like Huntress, I find the line of sight manipulation and gameplay super fun. And I also think trying to dodge the knives is pretty fun. Now, obviously you shouldn't be dodging the knives, but the general loop of how fast can I make it to this wall so he won't be able to fire knives at me. I find that's pretty fun. All right, next and very fun is the clown. All right, a lot of people might not agree with me, but I think clown is actually fun. What I like about clown is kind of the way you play pallets. While yes, you do pre-drop, it's definitely a game of holding distance and efficiently using windows. And I think that's what makes clown really fun to go against. 
it's mostly just chaining tiles and efficiently using the map without throwing every single pallet at once. I don't know, I just like it. I, I understand why people don't, especially when you're in solo queue and your team just throws all the pallets and there's nothing you can do. But for the most part, I like clown, that's it. All right, next is the knight. So knight actually got changed uh, a, a few months ago. It's been a while now, wow, hasn't it? Um, As an original knight hater since day one, I actually really like knight now. Why? Because of the mechanics around his guards. Because knight can't just plop a guard at every single loop, I think it's so much more fun to actually have to deal with them. So there are a lot more scenarios where the knight will not be chasing you and you're just having to deal with a guard while the knight is chasing someone else. So I enjoy the whole movement of guards, the whole faking a window so the guard walks into the window or vice versa, these sort of things. I think running into a guard so you can make more distance and make it to a loop instead of getting hit by the knight is a lot of fun. And I also think playing around the banner is fun because you can grab the banner and get endurance and a speed boost. And I just, I think it's very fun. That's it. Oni is fun too. I have a bit of bias because I absolutely love 180 Onis. Like it, <laughs> it could be so annoying, but like, I just, I just respect it. I just got to have respect when an Oni hits a 180 on me. There's nothing more than that. It's so fun. Ever since Oni came out, I've always thought Oni was like the scariest killer in DVD, in my opinion. He's like a Billy times 500. There's also a very interesting way you can play it where you can just throw every single pallet and try and make sure he doesn't get his power for as long as you can. And I think that is very, very fun. I just, I think Oni is so balanced and so fun that most of the time when I die to an Oni, I know they earned it because they did very well. So yes, I love the Oni. Next on very fun is Deathslinger. I actually like Deathslinger now. I used to not, but I actually like Deathslinger. Recently, I've been practicing Slinger myself for 2v8 for obvious reasons. <laughs> and I've also just kind of understood the, the whole gameplay of Slinger. I find it a lot more fun. I think that just like Huntress, trying to crouch and dodge and playing around line of sight is what makes Deathslinger so fun. But he can be a little bit more frustrating than Huntress because in areas where you get caught into a dead zone, he just rails you into the dead zone and you can't really make it anywhere. So those scenarios can be super unfun. But for the most part, I do enjoy my time against Deathslinger. Next is Artist, and I seriously wish I faced the Artist more. I think getting rid of the swarm, like that mechanic is pretty fun and it's very different. You kind of have to predict where you think the Artist will aim and try to counter it. I think Artist is very balanced, but I, I can understand why a lot of people don't play her because she is so difficult to play. But going against a good artist is so fun. I absolutely love it. And I love when they try to do the double tap snipe thing on a gen. I don't know what it's called, but I absolutely love that tech. And it's so cool. That's it. I like the artist. Very fun. I'm going to be honest here. At the last part of my very fun tier, I put Freddy there. And the reason why is probably not what you're expecting. I just it's just because he's an m1 killer like freddy just has nothing going for him and i just there's nothing else to say it's freddy i'm sorry man I, I his rework is coming soon we'll see what happens but right now freddy is just so generic that <laughs> i'm just okay with it i'm just fine you know it's all right it's enjoyable that's it my next tier is usually fun but certain play styles can be very unfun and I'll be honest, when I say certain playstyles, a large majority of these can be like three genning scenarios or anything like that. So at the very top, I have Bubba. And the reason I have Bubba is because I know a lot of people love to go against Bubba. Personally, I don't. Not really any particular reason why. I just never really liked it. I've just never really liked him as much as everyone else does for some reason. I don't know why. What I do like about Bubba is dealing with windows efficiently and also trying to make him tantrum around very tight loops. I absolutely love the timing window of jumping out of a locker on time to avoid getting grabbed. And I just, I think that's so satisfying, especially cause it just changed recently and I haven't really gotten to try it very much, but I did do it once and it was awesome. I love it. What I don't like about Bubba is honestly just getting camped he is a zoning warrior, and by that I mean zoning in a different way where he can kind of just proxy a certain area and you just can't do anything about it. That's it. The The era of Insidious face camping Bubba is gone, but very good Bubba's can just be really annoying and there's just not much you can do sometimes. Alright, on the next one I have Xenomorph. 
Now, you might notice a trend in my not fun tier where a lot of the killers are Ooga Booga, I hit you over pallet or window by pressing right click. You might be confused why Xeno is up here and not with them. <laughs> I'll explain. So I think the turrets is actually pretty fun. And ironically enough, Xeno is the only killer out of these group that you can actually counter their power by getting rid of it. I think the turrets are pretty fun to set up. And I absolutely love the strategy of like setting up double turrets or setting a turret on a hill so it hits the Xenomorph at the bottom of the hill and knocks them out of the power. That sort of stuff I think is pretty fun. And that's why I don't mind Xeno as much as the others. Also dodging the tail can be pretty fun, but for the most part, I'm just kind of okay with Xeno. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. All right, next is Billy. And this is another scenario like Bubba where I think just like Bubba, Billy can be very oppressive and holding certain areas. So I think what, what I like about Billy is definitely the chase. If a Billy hits me with a curve, I respect it, honestly. And stuff like Low Pro is gone now. Overheat is a, or I said overheat. <laughs> I mean overdrive. Overdrive is a lot less bad than it used to be. I'm fine with Billy, I like him, but certain scenarios can be super unfun. That's all I can really say. All right, next is Blight. Just like Billy, honestly, Blight's gotten a lot of changes too, and all of his really cheese add-ons are gone. But for me, like, I'm sorry, Blight players, but your your main's reputation has just gone downhill for me in particular. Because every time I face a Blight, they are always WSing me. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't even do anything. Like, I don't even BM. I just play the game and I get WS on first down. Like, I just, uh, I don't get it, man. A lot of the blights I go against are the very, I'm running Pain Res, Grim Embrace, and, you know, every other slowdown in the book that you can think of. All these nonsense. Like, those type of gameplay against blight can be pretty unfun. But blight's power, I absolutely love to go against. And I have no complaints about Blight's actual power or his add-ons right now. I like it. It's just those scenarios that I find pretty unfun and frustrating. All right, Pyramid Head is the other outlier in my, uh, my not fun, not fun, very, very bad tier. Pyramid Head is fun because I think that the whole mechanic, just like Unknown, Pyramid Head can hit you through the wall. And I think that's pretty interesting. And it takes skill. I also think it's very fun to dodge and counter it. What I think can be unfun about Pyramid Head is mostly just he can tunnel you for free, for one, which can be annoying, and he can also zone you just like all the other M2s, and that's also not fun. So going against very, very good and unique Pyramid Heads can be super duper fun, but for the most part, you kind of just get zoned and die. I usually like going against Pyramid Head. All right, next is twins. All right, I'll just say it. Slugging can be really annoying, but for the most part, I just like going against twins. Not much else than that. A great twins can be super annoying though. And honestly, there's not much you can do in chase other than just camp a window. <laughs> but for the most part, I find the mechanic of dealing with Victor and Charlotte at once. I find it pretty engaging. That's all. All right, next is Wraith. Uh, Wraith is an M1 killer, so he's usually fun. I'll say that. However, the issue with Wraith is that the hit and run strategy is just, it's just boring, man. It's not fun. And if you're playing against a great Wraith, he won't chase you. You're not going to get chased. In fact, what he will do is he'll wait for you to be doing a gen or in the middle of nowhere while injured. And then he just downs you for free and there's not much you can do. So that's what I don't like about Wraith. It's just, it can be very boring. That's all. Next is Trapper. Okay, Basement Trapper is annoying. That's all I really need to say. For the most part, Trapper is fine. His add-on that injures you when you reset traps is a little annoying, but <laughs> I've actually had some pretty funny scenarios where we stay 99, like we leave our health bar at 99, and we just disarm all the traps, and then if we need to heal, we just instantly pop it and instantly heal ourselves. So it does have a counter. It's just, it can be annoying. That's it. Trapper is also pretty fun to go against because he is an M1 killer. <laughs> if every single tile is just trapped though, there's not much you can do, like honestly. Next is Legion. All right, being honest, Legion is an usually fun tier because he is an M1 killer. And unlike Trapper and Wraith, Legion actually has to chase you. So with that being said, I enjoy going against Legion. <laughs> yeah, being injured sucks, but it's not that big a deal. I don't really have like major complaints about Legion. Honestly, I don't. Skull Merchant, being honest, I still haven't gotten to play the new rework yet, <laughs> which is not a good sign 
that no one has even played a, like the new Skull Merchant against me at all. But disregarding that, I do think it'll be pretty fun to go against. All right, next is Hag. Being honest, if I go against like a really good Hag and I get owned, I kind of deserve it. If I get owned by like a very good Hag, I, I won't really be upset because Hag is so difficult to play that I kind of just, I'm all right with it. The only thing I have them in on fun is because of Rusty Shackles. And honestly, just it can be really frustrating. It's just like playing Trapper where you just run into a certain spot and you just die. That's it. <laughs> All right, Spirit. I actually think Spirit's pretty fun to go against for the most part. There are times where a Spirit's like chasing you and it just, it literally feels so unfair. I don't know how else to explain it. I, I'm not saying it is unfair, but like it can just feel like there is nothing you can do in this situation. And especially when you don't have Iron Will. So I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. It's it's not like a play style. It's more of just in certain chases, Spirit can be frustrating. I'll say that. But usually I do like to go against Spirit. Next is Ghostface. For Ghostface, the reason I put him in usually fun is because just like the others, he's an M1 tier killer. So he has to chase you. A little bit like Wraith, he can hit and run you. And there are scenarios where you just get marked and you just instantly die. That's it. On indoor maps, I just, I do not like going against like Ghostface. But for the most part, it's not that bad. So that's why he's in usually fun. I don't have a lot of complaints, but that's why he's in there. And at the very bottom is Sadako. And just like the other M1 killers, Sadako is an M1 killer. So I find her pretty fun to go against. But what I don't like about Sadako is really just the condemn mechanic in general. I don't think Condemn mechanic is just fun to go against. I just I don't like the counterplay of dealing with tapes. And also it just feels really annoying to just die because they teleported a billion times. So I don't know. I don't hate Sadako, but like some of the games can just feel hopeless. Especially in solo queue. <laughs> Alright, next is the not fun, not fun, not fun bad tier. And these are killers that I just don't enjoy going against almost all the time. I have to force myself to have fun, which is not great. And you will notice a pattern that most of them are M2 base killers. So at the very top is Myers. In this list, I'll say Myers and Pig are like the only M1s in this list. And they're both here for different reasons. For Myers, it could just feel frustrating if, you know, the one teammate feeds Myers to tier three, and then he just rolls up on you and insta pops tier three and you just die. Like that's just really frustrating and annoying. And also Tombstone Peace, you know, that's self-explanatory though. You can probably gather why I think Tombstone Peace is annoying. But for the most part, Myers is, he's just all right. I'm excited to see what they do for his rework, honestly. All right, next is the pig. And the thing I don't like about pig is I think the reverse bear trap minigame and mechanic is just not fun to go against. It's just kind of lame just running around and opening three or four boxes to get your hat off. And then, hey, if they have another reverse bear trap and they use it on you again, guess what? You get to do it again. I just, I don't find it very fun. It's just kind of, eh, like I could be doing something else. That's it. Next is Vecna. Being honest, uh, you might be shocked to see this. A lot of people do like Vecna, but I just, I just, for me, I just never really liked him. I don't think he needs like changes or anything. I just don't enjoy it. I think Mage Hand is really annoying to go against and being tapped by his skeletons through a wall with nothing you can do is just very frustrating. It's pretty funny for me to say this as an unknown enjoyer, but I think when, what makes it less annoying on unknown is that he has to weaken you once to injure you, where Vecna can just do it for free. If you get the interloper gloves, it's a little bit better, but for the most part, it's just pretty frustrating. I do think that the hand and eye of Vecna are pretty fun to use though. All right, next is Dracula. And I'm gonna be honest here when I say this, what I don't like about Dracula is the bat form in particular. Right now, Dracula has a lot of really bad add-ons that allow him to block windows and hinder the survivors as the bat by teleporting. And I just, I think that's really boring. So he, he teleports to your window wherever you are and not only are you slowed down, you also can't even use this window to make distance. So you just kind of lose either way. 
I also just don't like getting hit through windows and pallets with his M2. That's all I can really say. It's just not very fun. All right, next is Nemesis. Just like Dracula, I just don't like getting hit by his M2. There's nothing else to it. I, I think that I think it's pretty clear that I just don't find that sort of gameplay pretty fun for both sides. I just think it's kind of lame. You make it to a pallet, you throw it, you still lose. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. The zombies are so annoying too. The reason he's down here is honestly part of it is the zombies because you literally just kind of if you don't have a flashlight, you kind of just have to cope. You either use a pallet and you have to waste a pallet. Versus an already oppressive killer at destroying pallets. You have to waste a pallet and kill a zombie. Or you just have to, I don't know, go somewhere else or have your teammate distracted. It's just really frustrating, especially in solo queue. It feels like sometimes versus Nemesis, you just can't do a single gen because the zombie is just sitting there. And there's not much you can do about it. At the very fun of not fun, not fun, very, very bad tier is Singularity. And Singularity, I just don't find the mechanics of the EMP very fun to use. I don't like how you have to use EMPs mid chase to counter Slipstream because I like to use items and I just, I don't like how to counter Singularity, you have to use an item mid chase. Mid chase is the real reason. I like to be able to use items. I like to be able to use flashlights or whatever, you know, and having to carry the EMP all game. I just, I don't find it very fun. I also think his chase power is just kind of eh, you know, it's it's very, very good. And he's very good at holding areas of the map like Skull Merchant. And I just don't find it fun to go against. That's it. Right now, Singularity is definitely at the very bottom of like the killers to go against for me. I don't know what they would have to do to change it. I think it's just not for me. I'll say that. <laughs> and then I have Chucky tier in his own tier. Chucky gets his own tier. Look at him. Look at him, he gets his own tier. <laughs> Being honest, I probably don't have to elaborate here. If you've played against Chucky, you can probably understand why he has his own tier. All right, Rat Poison. Get this, get this add-on out of the game. It is so cheese. I'm telling you, when I face a Chucky, I don't even have to look at his add-ons because I know he will be running it. Every single player runs it. You can't say they don't. Every single player runs it and it's just, it's, there's not much you can do. It makes every single chase unwinnable and every single mind game and 50-50 is thrown out of the window because he can always see where you are when he's using his M2. Honestly, Rat Poison is like the biggest thing I hate about Chucky. I'll probably like him better if his cooldown was adjusted a little bit and raised and Rat Poison was thrown into the ground. <laughs> Fix Rat Poison. Thanks, behavior. And uh, actually, Chucky is getting changes soon. So, hey, maybe they actually will change Rat Poison, which I'm very sure they will because it's been complained about a lot. So, yes, that is my my fun to go against DVD tier list. So being honest, I think the reason a lot of people were considering this controversial, I'm going to be honest here. I think a lot of people who play DVD just don't like it. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Like. I don't know for me like the learning and the mechanics is just so fun so i just i feel like it's weird that so many people play dead by daylight and they just hate half of the killer roster yes i do think there are annoying things about each killer and i guess that's kind of the point you know you're not gonna like everything but for the most part like if i'm going against a killer i don't like i can find stuff that i do like about their chases or countering them so for the most part, I like most of the killers. The only ones that I don't like are the ones that force you into scenarios where there's not a lot you can do. Yeah, I usually like playing <laughs> Dead by Daylight, which is pretty funny to say, and I can't believe I'm saying that. Yes, I like playing the game, and I wish more people did. So yeah, that's it. Thank you.